My name is Xavier. I'm 20 years old. I came to help film. Um, I got caught up in the circle that was going on, and I thought I had um, something to share with you guys today. Growing up, um, I feel like the effects of white supremacy had a lot had a lot of control in like our childhoods and how we perceived ourselves. Because um, I remember growing up in the school system, like just going around, meeting people, talking to people. Um, a lot of the traits that I had was considered, like was kind of like made fun of and stuff. Like, you know, being African-American, having dark skin, a big nose, big lips, stuff like that. And then, you know, I, I remember like learning history and everything, how back in the day, like way back in the day, they had these things called minstrel shows. And they made fun of these um, black people having big nose, big lips, all that. And now growing up and like, actually paying attention to the environment that's around me. Um, I'm seeing these people on media having these surgeries done, these things done to their bodies, and they want to have a, a big nose, big lips, and want to get darker. They want to do makeup, tan, stuff like that. And um, I just think, you know, I think they call it whitewashing. I think that's what they call it nowadays. And like, I was just thinking, Whitewashing in like the 60s were minstrel shows, and nowadays the whitewashing is, you know, them doing surgeries, having these augmentations under their bodies. Um, and I think it's, it's really interesting seeing the contrast, how back in the day they were doing it to poke fun and make fun at us, and nowadays it's just something that they wanna be. And I just think it was something that I had to talk about. Um, just, you know, growing up, um, being a fly on the wall, I see like a lot of people, um, a lot of a lot of black friends that I had, they went to um, these white schools or these non like these places that um, had a lot of non-black people in it, and um, I saw them growing up like they wanted their hair to be straight, and they didn't really appreciate the texture of their hair that they had um, that they were born with, that they didn't like the way they looked. They wanted to look lighter. They wanted to do this. They wanted to do that. And they weren't really comfortable in their skin. And I think um, the effects of white supremacy, how we could uh, change that effect that it had on people growing up, I think that we should be more inclusive in our education about um, our looks, how we look. You know, if, if they had like a class in these um, non-black, predominantly non-black schools that emphasize like, you know, that we are okay to look different, that it's fine to look different and to show that how different people look, to show the looks of different cultures and how people look differently. I think um, growing up, people would be more open to diversity. They wouldn't be saying here, oh, look, he has a big nose. Oh, look, he has big lips. This stuff, this, that, and the third. And it's actually crazy now, because nowadays that stuff is actually desired. It's desirable features, you know? So I think if we just become more inclusive in the education that we, you know, I, I heard that they um, ban critical race theory and stuff like that. Um, I think that does more harm than good because um, I think that in the system, in the education system, they should include these stories. They shouldn't sit there and hide them away because how are we going to prove to somebody that we're different if they don't even see, I mean, how are we going to prove to somebody that we're alike if they don't even see these stories that we're doing human things that we aren't just out here what's being portrayed in the media being violent stuff like that what about you know our accomplishments why don't why aren't we putting that out in the school system as much as we are putting out you know the um you know non-black accomplishments why aren't we you know giving that the same treatment so I, that's all i really wanted to say it was just interesting seeing how things have changed as i've grown up the different responses and the contrast of lifestyles and stuff like that